LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga just got a brand new trailer that revealed some more details about the game. Some very, very important details about the game and shows LEGO Star Wars footage from all nine films. Hey everyone, it's Andrew. For me, the new LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga is my most anticipated game of 2020 and we still don't have an actual release date. Just like the first trailer, this one is vague about when it's actually coming out and all we know is that it's going to be sometime in 2020. But what we do know are some new locations and confirmed playable characters for the new game. That's what just got revealed. And a couple of little interesting details. First up, Darth Maul with his hood on is most likely going to be a playable character. It was already pretty obvious Darth Maul was going to be in the game, but this also means we're getting a Darth Maul with and without the hood, because in the first LEGO Star Wars trailer, he wasn't wearing it. Next up is Jango Fett in Attack of the Clones, hovering down with his jet pack surrounded by a couple of droidicas. This scene here is from the droid factory on Geonosis where he along with the droids capture Anakin and Padme and then they go out to the arena and they release the Ackley on them and all the other beasts and have a grand old party. Next is Darth Vader rising for the first time as Vader in Revenge of the Sith. This scene looks absolutely epic and I can't wait to see what jokes they include. Next is A New Hope. Leia is giving R2-D2 the Death Star plan and message to Obi-Wan Kenobi on board the Tantive IV. The steam and lighting in this scene look amazing. I think it's safe to say this will be the most visually graphically impressive LEGO game to date. Next we have Han frozen in carbonite on Bespin in The Empire Strikes Back. Again, lighting, steam and drama are high in this scene. Then in Return of the Jedi, Luke salutes on the platform of one of Jabba the Hutt's skiffs in the desert on Tatooine. Behind him is a Weequay skiff guard holding an axe as a weapon. I'm assuming the Weequay will be a playable character in the game. I mean, Battlefront has Weequay, so don't see why LEGO Star Wars won't have him as well. I can't wait to play as the LEGO version of Weequay. Boba Fett is also jetpacking in the background, and one of the skiff guards is caught in the Sarlacc down here. This is the scene when Luke salutes to R2 to eject his lightsaber, and I'm sure you know what's about to happen after that. And I can't wait for this to be Boba Fett stuck in the Sarlacc. I'm really hoping for some good Sarlacc pit mechanics in the new LEGO Star Wars. I hope the whole area around the Sarlacc is explorable. The game's open world after all and I can really see this being a thing. In this scene there's also the feet of what I'm assuming are more skiff guards aboard the skiff but to be honest these could be anyone's feet. Then we have the Millennium Falcon flying and spinning in the sky in The Force Awakens and this is the Falcon with the rectangular radar dish so obviously we know it's from The Force Awakens. And remember in LEGO Star Wars you'll be flying ships just like the Falcon from planet to planet as part of the open world and will encounter random events in space along the way. One confirmed event we already know about is a Star Destroyer suddenly coming out of light speed and attacking you. I can't wait for these immersive random Star Wars moments. The next scene is Kylo Ren in The Last Jedi on the planet Crate, running at Luke with his lightsaber when Luke is a force apparition. And there's some red sand on the ground and four giant ATM6s in the background and I really hope you can drive these things. This scene looks absolutely epic. Also, both The Last Jedi and Rise of Skywalker have never been depicted in a LEGO game before. LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens was the last LEGO Star Wars game and they didn't do one for The Last Jedi because they were probably busy making this. And then we have Rey on Pasana in The Rise of Skywalker, jumping over Kylo Ren's TIE Fighter, which means this here is a confirmed pilotable ship in the game. You'll also notice the LEGO studs flying up either side of the ship. These are supposed to be the sand in the desert. Love these little Lego features in the Lego games. And then we potentially got one of the most interesting parts of this entire trailer. A scene in the Millennium Falcon. Lando and Chewie at the controls. The ship breaks down and Lando, and I mean the Lando, as in Billy D. Williams, says, They told me they fixed it! Which means we're definitely getting actual voices in the game. And TT Games have said they're considering the option of doing both a voiced version of the game and one with the original grunts and coughs of the original Lego Star Wars, so hopefully they stick to that and we get both. But just look at this ship interior, look at the detail in this, in a Lego game. This looks insane, I, I can't wait to be in this cockpit. Then R2 rolls over to the hyperdrive and attaches a power rectangle to it, which powers it up and it all goes with lightning, and I'm assuming this will also be one of the mechanics in the game, R2 will be able to pick up objects and carry them over to whatever needs repairing, similar to how he could open doors in 
the previous game and in other LEGO games you can pick up items and use them for things. Then the ship takes off at light speed which is also something I can't wait to do in this game in space. I'm so sure this will be a feature of the open world and you'll be jumping your way between planets and systems at light speed. Can't wait for this. Can't wait to press the light speed button and just watch your ship just into light speed. At the end, we also see R2, BB-8, and Dio bumping into each other. I'm sure all these droids will be playable in the game. The Skywalker Saga is said to have more playable Star Wars characters than any other Star Wars game. It's going to be a huge roster. This game has a lot of promise. Just the fact the game is open world, with the exception of the story missions, makes it even more enticing. There's never been an open world Star Wars game on the scale the new LEGO Star Wars is shaping up to deliver on. So there's a lot of promise here and hopefully they can absolutely deliver. And even though this trailer was brief and more of a teaser, we're being drip fed details that just make me want to play this game more and more. I'm sure you guys agree. So what are you most looking forward to about the new LEGO Star Wars? And do you think it will be better than the original? It's going to be hard to top, but I feel like this game could definitely do it. Let me know in the comments. And for everything there is to know about this game and every detail revealed, go watch one of these videos here. Lots of details about how the game works got revealed a few months ago and I made these videos back then. And follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Discord for more updates on the new LEGO Star Wars and other Star Wars games. And thanks for watching this. My name's Andrew, I'll catch you soon. <laughs> Stay bombastic.